So in this video, I'm going to show you this Nitrotype CAPTCHA solver. Especially if you're one of those that run out of typers for long sessions for at least more than 50 races, then this is going to be good news to you especially. So the first thing we'll do is go to and The link will be in the description of this video so you can just go from there. Then once you're here, then you'll want to click on this article. It should be the top one. So click on it. And here in this article, it will tell you everything you need to know about using this um, CAPTCHA solver. So, from here, you'll want to find the download button. Find the download button and click on download. So, right here, click on download. And then here it is, it pops up. Now, I'm going to name it, let's see, CAPTCHA testing. Okay, so now save. Alright, now that we have that downloaded, now the next thing we need to do is go to Chrome Web Store. And to do that, yeah, you can go directly from the article right here, or you can go up here, click on these three dots here, More Tools, and click on Extensions. So we're going to go to the Extensions page. Uh, as you can see here, I already have it, but I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and remove it so I can show you guys how to load this in. So now what we, what we want to do is click on load unpacked. Load unpacked. Okay, so the new one that I downloaded is not showing up. This is the older one that I downloaded. But the new one that I named new for video testing is not showing up. And now I remember because last week when I was testing it out, I had this problem. Like it wasn't showing up. So, you're probably going to have the same problem too, so I'm going to show you how to solve that one. So to do that, first thing you want to do is go to the file explorer, explorer, and then here, here's the file. So what's happening is there's another folder inside this folder. So you want to get that folder out of this folder so it shows up because when you click on load impact it's, it's looking for a specific uh, file names and since there's just a folder inside here since all there is is this it won't show up so what you want to do is uh, click like I did click on that folder open it up and then it, this folder will pop up now you can drag this out of the folder or you can just copy and paste it out of the folder somewhere I'm just going to save it in the desktop. Now this is the older one by the way. Yeah this is the one that I used from last week but for you will probably be empty like this or unless you have other files. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and paste. There we go now it pops up. So now in here there's no it just goes directly into it so like this. Yeah as you can see all these files uh, it will look it's gonna be looking for all these files and when it sees that they're here then it should pop up the folder will pop up so let me show you now uh, so let me close this real quick load unpacked and then as you can see the folder should pop up notice that's the older one uh, let me go to the, I saved it to the desktop there it is click on that select folder and it's that's it that's really all you got to do now you just you can just run your auto type uh, for however long you want i guess 